you've seen the incredible demos. But what happens when businesses try to use AI in the real world? They hit a wall, a chasm where amazing projects simply vanish. This is the prototype bottleneck. And it's exactly where our protagonist, the French powerhouse Mistral AI, enters the scene. All right, let's talk about a huge move from the French AI powerhouse Mistral. You've probably heard of them. They've absolutely rocketed to the top. They've just launched a new platform, and believe me, it's not just another tool. Nope, this is a massive strategic play, and it's designed to completely reshape how big businesses use AI. So you gotta wonder, how is this one French company planning to take on the giants? Let's dive in and break it all down. You know, it really all starts with a question that I bet keeps developers and executives up at night. I mean, we've all seen those incredible AI demos, right? They look amazing. But then, when businesses actually try to use them in the real world, they just fall apart. So what on earth is going wrong here? Well, the answer is something we can call the prototype bottleneck. Think about it, there is this massive, massive gap between a cool demo and a truly industrial grade system. You know, one that's gotta be reliable, secure, and auditable 24 seven. It's like this chasm where countless amazing AI projects just doop, disappear, poof, gone. And that is exactly where our protagonist enters the scene, Mistral AI. This French startup has, like, overnight, become Europe's top contender in the global AI race. And guess what? They think they have the solution to that exact bottleneck we were just talking about. Okay, mark this date on your calendar. Mistral has officially launched its big enterprise-grade platform, Mistral AI Studio. And let me tell you, this isn't just some minor update. Oh no, this is a full-on declaration of intent. They are going head-to-head -head with the biggest names in tech for that super lucrative enterprise market. And they've got the firepower to back it up too. After a recent funding round, the company is now valued at a staggering, wait for it, 11.7 billion euros. A valuation like that, it just screams confidence. It shows you exactly how much investors believe in their strategy. In fact, their success has been so fast, so meteoric, that Mistral's three founders are now the very first AI billionaires in France. So yeah, we're not just talking about a company here. This is a straight up European tech phenomenon. Now listen to this quote from their CEO, Arthur Mensch. When he talks about infrastructure rigor, what he's really saying is they're building a platform with the exact same stability and power they use for their own massive models. It's like they're not just giving businesses a go-kart to play with. They're handing them the keys to a Formula One car. So let's pop the hood and look inside AI Studio. What is it really? Well, it's a platform that's been engineered from the ground up for one specific purpose, to take AI out of the lab and put it to work reliably in the real world. Okay, so the whole platform is built on three core pillars. Here's a good way to think about it. Imagine it's a self-driving car. Observability is your dashboard, showing you speed, diagnostics, all that good stuff. The agent runtime is the engine, making sure you have a smooth, error-free drive. And the AI registry, that's your GPS and map system, keeping track of exactly where everything is. So that first pillar, observability, is absolutely crucial. What it means is that businesses get a totally complete, transparent view of how their AI is behaving. Let's say you have an AI customer service bot and it starts giving weird answers. Observability lets you see exactly why it's doing that, so you can fix the issue, and then, this is the cool part, use that data to make the bot even smarter next time. Next up is the agent runtime. Okay, so if you're running some complex, multi-step AI process, the absolute last thing you want is for it to crash halfway through, right? This pillar makes sure that your workflows are durable and can actually handle errors gracefully. And for any business in a regulated industry, that full audit trail, yeah, that's not a nice to have, it's a must have, it's non-negotiable. And the toolkit itself, it is seriously powerful. You get access to all of Mistral's models, everything from their open source stuff to their top tier proprietary ones. But that's not all. You can also plug in tools for coding, for searching the web, for generating images, even for pulling in premium news feeds. And the best part, it's all inside one single unified environment. Now, this right here, this might just be Mistral's secret weapon, flexibility in how you deploy it. They offer a whole spectrum of options. See, unlike a lot of platforms that lock you into their cloud, AI Studio actually lets you choose. And for companies in Europe dealing with strict privacy laws like GDPR, being able to keep their data on-premises isn't just a nice little advantage. It's an absolute requirement. So, with this launch, you have to understand, Mistral isn't just putting out a new product. No way. They are stepping into the ring and directly challenging the established giants of the tech world. This is it. 
This is the Enterprise AI Showdown. So how does this really stack up against the competition? Well, compared to the big U.S. giants, Mistral has a European base, which is a huge deal for companies that are a little wary of U.S. tech dominance. Plus, their focus is laser-sharp on production-ready systems, not just cool, flashy experiments. And their core appeal, it's all about data sovereignty, about being in control, versus the appeal of just plugging into an ecosystem that's already there. And you know what? This move is also perfectly timed. The market is shifting. Businesses are getting really tired of trying to stitch together a dozen different isolated tools. It's a mess. They are demanding comprehensive all-in-one platforms that can handle the entire AI lifecycle from start to finish. And Mistral, they are just perfectly positioned to ride this wave. So what does this all mean when you put it all together? I think we are looking at the very beginning of a new era for AI in the business world. It's an era that's going to be focused a lot less on hype and a lot more on real-world reliable implementation. When you boil it all down, Mistral's entire strategy comes back to solving that one big problem we talked about at the start. They are literally building a bridge over that prototype bottleneck. They're trying to help companies finally get their great AI ideas out of the lab and into reliable, everyday operations. And that leaves us with a really fascinating question for the future, doesn't it? For so long, the AI race has felt like it was all about who can build the biggest, most powerful model. But Mistral is making a different bet. They're betting that the real winners won't be the ones with the biggest models, but the ones who build the most trusted, secure, and governable platforms. It's this epic battle between raw power and reliable control. And whoever wins that is going to define the next chapter of AI. So... What does this all mean? We're at the beginning of a new era, an era focused less on hype and more on reliable implementation. Mistral is betting that the real winners won't be the ones with the biggest models, but the ones who build the most trusted, secure, and governable platforms. It's the ultimate battle, raw power versus reliable control and whoever wins will define the next chapter of AI.